Hi, this is Greg Weeks for Sprint 5. Um, so honestly, I didn't really get much done this week in terms of our goals for, for this specific sprint, uh, but I was playing catch-up for other sprints. Um, so I spent most of my time working on the, the command structure and uh, factories and instance recycling for all of the critters and making sure that that was working 100% the way that it should uh, because I figured that if I just let that go and didn't do it the correct way, it was going to bite me in the ass later. And I, I spent many, many hours just debugging and, and working with that. But I'm fairly certain that it's working correctly right now. Um, and also, uh, let's just start off with the centipede. The first thing that I fixed from last week was that I didn't have the uh, body segments working correctly with the finite state machine. Uh, so they were essentially just copies of the head. Um, I don't have splitting working right now, unfortunately, but um, the body segments are working as they should. Let's just go over to the centipede body. Um, so the, the body is not actually updating the state, but it is taking a, a reference of the state from the centipede head. So pretty much what I have is this variable uh, previous state, and then I'm checking if the centipede is in the center of the grid position. I'm still trunking it truncating the x position which is a float into an int to check whether or not it's in the middle of the grid position i know that i'm not supposed to do this um but i i need to have a conversation with you and uh, i think you need to explain to me why why i shouldn't do this or how to get around this because i just i can't figure out how to do it without this but anyway um so what i'm doing is taking the the offset not copying it i'm just getting uh this reference state uh get move offsets calling it directly from this guy um, so the heads obviously making all the decisions here and we're not doing it every frame because we're only uh, changing the state when we're in the the middle of the grid position um, yeah, like I said I'm sure if there's an easier way to do this and I can kind of see why this is wrong but I I think I need some some further instruction here um, yeah so the body segments are acting uh, not independently but completely dependent of the head right now. Um, so let's just move right on to what I spent most of the time on, the command structure for uh, the score manager and the factories for the uh, for all the critters. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to shoot at the spider here. So you can see that I got 600 points. It's reporting that. Um, so it's reporting my total score at the end of every frame, as it should be doing. These centipedes are annoying. Okay, uh, so right here, I got a, uh, a medium range. Yeah, there, those are two medium range, range scores for a total score of uh, 1,200. Um, so you can see I am recycling the spider here. I'm going to show you the code in a minute, but like all of this, uh, the instance recycling and the score manager set up as a uh, command structure is working as it should. So, um, yeah, let me just try to get a... Uh, a different range to show you so that should have been a far range yeah see i got 300 and it updated my score so uh in score manager i have all of the scores here laid out uh based on my my grid positions and and what i felt like was appropriate for the uh the spider ranges um let's see so as you can see all of this is set up correctly as the command structure uh so score manager is singleton um and i'm actually for the total score i just created a, uh, an int, and I'm taking uh, the instance, yeah, so an add score, whenever I actually get a score, um, I'm just taking instance.totalscore and adding the value. Um, I'm not completely sure if this is the way to do it, but it seems like it's working right now. Um, so spider factory is set up as a singleton correctly, and as you can see here, um, I am calling uh, the, the terminate function here. Um, and the destructor. So this this wasn't commented out this time and it, it works correctly and the I can close the game right now and nothing's gonna crash. I'm not gonna get a, a ton of errors down here. So that is that is working as it should. Um let's see. So just more command structure stuff. Um so the distance calculation is working correctly as you witnessed. Um so essentially what I'm doing is just taking the, the original position of the bullet and then comparing it to the spider Y position. Uh, so it was pretty trivial to do, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got working this week. It took a really long time to get all of the, the factories and, and singletons and everything with instance recycling working for, for every single critter. 
So you can, as you can see, the Scorpion is set up as it should be set up, or no, sorry, Scorpion factory is set up as it should be with instance recycling. This is a singleton. Uh, let's go over to flea just to prove that to you. So singleton recycling. Um, so as I said before, I wanted to make 100% sure that I was getting this correct because it was going to be a pain in the ass to fix this later. And yeah, I think that was a good use of my time this week. But yeah, that's about it.